Mark, it's a 2-0 defeat on Derby Day, but was it a 2-0 game for you? I think it's fine margins, isn't it? You know, uh, I didn't think there was an awful lot in the game. Uh, both teams playing s the same system, you know, I think maybe cancelled each other out at some points. But, you know, I say, I, I can't say that I thought we were terrible or, you know, thoroughly deserved to get beat or anything like that. I thought it was pretty tight. Um, you know, sometimes it goes for you, sometimes it doesn't. You've got to be gracious in defeat. You know, congratul congratulations to St Albans. It was their night tonight. We obviously had the reverse at their place in January when it went for us on the day. And, um, yeah, I thought we worked hard. I thought the intensity was there, you know, from both teams. It was a keenly contested local derby. And fine margins, we've just come off the right end of it. But as I said, I thought it was... Uh, you know, uh, I thought we uh, acquitted ourselves reasonably well, and on another night it might have gone for us. A couple of decisions maybe, but perhaps, you know, I'd like to perhaps look at them again before I sort of really make too much of a comment. But, uh, you know, it's fine margins at times. Well, ha having spoken to sort of cameramen and photographers about the place, it looks like the ball was over the line and there was quite a clear handball in there. Also, I know you can't comment too much on officials, but is it frustrating maybe when that can maybe tell the story of the game? Yeah, I mean, I must admit, you know, that one, the one that sort of looked like it went over the line, you know, I wasn't in line with it, but it certainly looked so. We were all sort of celebrating on the bench. We thought it was in and we were surprised that, it, that you know, the game, the game just played on. Um, but, you know, you look, I'm sure we've had decisions that have gone for us at times, you know, this, this season. I think really, you know, the penalty, you get handball given, sometimes you don't. It's a bit of a sort of handball, it always seems to be a subjective one, doesn't it? You know, some referees give handball, some don't. But um, look, I think you have to sort of try to uh, be accurate in your appraisal of the game. I thought it was a tightly contested uh, game. I thought first half we probably had the better of it. I think you know Craig King hasn't had a shot to save first half. We've got into some good areas and sort of didn't really sort of have clear cut opportunities. But we, we, I would say we were the team on the front foot. Second half, I thought we lost our way a little bit for 15, 20 minutes. We gave a few little silly free kicks away. St Albans had some corners. We couldn't really get hold of the football enough. But then I thought we came back into it again. And I think we had a deflected shot, didn't we? Josh Castiglione did just literally deflected straight into the goalkeeper's arms. I mean, that could have gone anywhere. Uh, lads are saying it was over the line and sort of most people are saying it was a penalty. But, you know, look, we have to take it on the chin. As I say, congratulate St Albans on their victory tonight. And we have to bounce back. We got a game at Welling on Saturday. And, um, you know, it's, we've got to start preparing for that now. And when we look at the goals that we conceded tonight, how much of it do you credit the finish and then how much do you look at our defending? Because they seem to get in behind us quite easily. Yeah, I mean, obviously occasions. we're disappointed with, with that. I would need to look at it back again. So I'm not just sort of trying to avoid the quote. But sometimes when, uh, you know, when you're at the opposite end of the pitch, you know, as the dugouts are here and you're trying to... Yeah, he, he looked like he got in too easily. You know, I'd, um, the lads were saying in there that a couple of our players sort of stepped up and then a couple didn't. And, you know, but in all fairness, he's still got quite a lot to do there and that you know Jeffers has stuck it in the top corner from about 22 yards isn't he or 20 yard you know and um, again he sort of swiveled and hit that one you know and uh, he was the difference if you're being honest he's probably the difference in the game I think he's scored about 26 27 goals now this season and he stuck one in the top corner and stuck one in the bottom corner and he was probably the difference you know in the game because there wasn't much in it and then finally, speaking of strikers, we heard that Charlie Hughes looking at him, um, uh, they've been out for a few weeks. Does, does the squad depth now something that concerns you? I think we had two academy graduates on the bench tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we do need to try and bring a, a, a couple in if we can. Uh, that is a blow for us. Charlie Hughes, obviously, you know, coming off uh, Saturday. I hope it's not, I don't think it's anything too bad. I think he's basically sort of torn a couple of ligaments and he's angled like a, when I say that now, it's basically a twisted ankle, really. So um, hopefully, you know, that could probably be two to three weeks, you know, best case scenario. After the game against Welling, we actually don't play for two weeks. So that actually could be a good thing for us to try and get a couple, rest a couple of bodies and, and, and get a couple back. I think Sam. Mantum's pretty close as well and he'll be like having a new sign in for us because he obviously hasn't played for nearly two months now so you know getting Sam back pretty soon will help us we are trying to sort of get another striker in as well that I think we need so hopefully we can sort that out 